the moment it's so embryonic and in its infancy and in some ways the initial phase of this has been a little bit of a race to the bottom in terms of space standards and that's been where the focus is but I think there needs to be a huge shift sort of away from that and to really exploring the world what are the benefits of creating spaces where people share? How can we think about that holistically? How can we think about that intergenerationally? How can we think about mixed use uh, or really co-living or co-sharing of spaces, really activating mixed use spaces, moving away from the old school kind of what used to be mixed use development, which was we stick a Tesco in the bottoms and, and have sort of 50 units on top. Actually, how can we create really engaging spaces that Again, great for the developer because they put up values because you're creating places people want to live, but also, yeah, just better in terms of creating better environments and outcomes. I think I'd, I'd sort of agree with the sort of uh, key presentation there that it is about a blend and I think we're going to be relying a lot more heavily on ourselves. I think um, governance structures, you know, are failing. I think uh, politically um, we are in a climate where people do want to do things and we're letting go of that sort of, um, you know, herd of sheep following what the master says and we're actually having to take responsibility and through that personal responsibility engaging and, and connecting sort of skills and resources and um, and spaces and ideas and um, yeah and I think that 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 makes for um, yeah an incredibly creative and um, cultivating society. Well I think co-living is going to be one of many offers and I think the concept of co-living of thinking about housing from an experiential perspective is the biggest thing that co-living is offering. It's not so much about how big is your unit and how, what do you share and not share, as to what's the experience of living in rental accommodation in cities. And I think what you're going to see in the future is actually the entire rental residential market is going to embrace the experiential side of living and so I think you're going to see this merge of traditional apartments into co-living and it's going to be a lot more seamless and then we're just going to be talking about different styles of housing for different cohorts of people and, and what works because we need lots of different types. Well I think collaboration and co is fundamental for the future of cities and I think what I what I liked about the session today is that we were be able we were able to zoom out from co-living and co-working topologies to a bit more of a civic approach of co. And I think what we should think of more is how we can work on participation inside out. And I think there is a huge potential to, to activate neighborhoods, to catalyze uh, urban renewal throughout doing good stuff on properties. I think we're often a little bit sort of too obsessed with what's happening on the, the fine scale of one building. And I think the, the neighborhoods, I think, really counts for the future of, of our cities.